Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. This one is interesting. We got this from a friend who had it when she was a kid, and it's probably from the 1920s, probably made in High Point, North Carolina. We couldn't find any mark, maker's marks or branding on it. Um, and they had painted it uh, a lot. This uh, pink was terrible. And the white under the pink was uh, kind of a pain, uh, which you'll see a little later on. You can see the mirror to the vanity in the background. We didn't get to that one this time. That'll be on a future video. We need to pull the glass out and clean everything up. It's going to be kind of a project. So this is my wife. She is the one who does these transformations. She enjoys doing them. She's learned a lot doing these and she has a good time. This one had a lot of sanding as you can imagine. Um, there was this paint was ludicrously thick and there were a few layers of it and it took a lot of sanding. After a little bit of sanding in the workroom she finally decided to go outside and quit dusting everybody out. And the stripper worked really well on the top layer uh, but you can see that base coat is still there and it that was the tough coat of paint. I don't know what was in that stuff. A lot of stripping, a lot of sanding, a lot of scraping. And at first she wanted to do all back to bare wood and stain it and make it nice, you know, Similar to how it would have been new, but we quickly realized that all of this paint was not coming off. Not without a fight, not without pulling things apart and really getting involved. And maybe in the future we'll do something like that, but on this one, her goal was just to get rid of that horrible purple pinkish paint. I'm colorblind, so I don't know what color it actually is. But I know it's uh, relatively unattractive. So, plenty of scraping, plenty of sanding. She tried to do what she could, but... The other problem we ran into was the veneer on a few of the drawer faces was chewed up. You can see it on this bottom corner, now the left side of the drawer front. Um, and it was messed up in weird spots, plus it had this uh, router detail on the front that made it hard to get the paint out without damaging the veneer even further. So she decided to just strip the veneer. Uh, we had thought about putting fresh veneer on, but it wouldn't match with the tops, and we didn't want to have to re-veneer the tops because they were in relatively good shape. So she decided to strip the veneer and, and paint the drawer fronts. Two of the drawer fronts. Four drawer fronts that uh, were in, in good shape, and she did a, a stain on those. More sanding. Plenty more sanding. Just 
So I guess a little background on my wife, Shauna. She's crazy. We have three kids. We bought a house that was originally built in the 1850s. Uh, and we don't have enough projects, apparently, because now um, she enjoys doing this. She's done a few of these, and uh, she does a good job. She has a good eye for this. Um, we, we will paint some things, uh, wood, and I know there's a lot of people that are very anti-painted wood, but sometimes you have to, or you need to, or for a certain look or a sort, certain feel to a piece, uh, you're going to paint, and so each piece is just going to be where it leads us, I guess. Nasty. See, these tops we were able to get pretty clean. Um, and she stained these. But it took some concerted effort. And the veneer was in, in fairly good shape. She uses citrus strip, which you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot, I believe. Um, and it's pretty good. It doesn't reek. It's got a citrusy smell to it. Um, you don't have to worry about doing it outdoors or with the doors open because it's not going to kill you. Just a little acetone to clean up the little bit of citrus strip that's left over. Helps neutralize it and get the gumminess out of it. Needed some conditioning, so she used some of this uh, feed and wax stuff that helped to uh, condition the wood a little bit, swell it up a little. Smeared some of that on there and then let it sit for a few days while we worked on other parts of the vanity. Before she painted, we didn't get a, any footage of it, but she cleaned all of the wood really well with uh, mineral spirits, I believe, and got all the conditioner left on the surface off so that the paint would have a clean surface. We saw somebody else do this if he painted a drawer or drawer front and there were dovetails he would highlight the dovetails so um, it just made it a really nice added a really nice touch so we decided to Now, because we didn't get the insides of the drawers 100% paint-free, we decided to try this uh, P2000 
peel and stick wallpaper. And um, that was a bad idea. It didn't stick to anything. It kind of shrunk on itself. It was a really weird product that didn't work like we thought it would. So you can see it in there now, but we ended up not using it. What do you see? What'd you get? I think it turned out pretty good, uh, considering what it looked like before. Buggo! Did Mom do a good job? Or purple or whatever it was. I think uh, it turned out pretty good, and my daughter loves it. It's going in the girl's room, so. Well, thanks for watching. Consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel. Uh, thanks for watching.